Catherine Capillaro, and I wrote this musical, Courting Disaster, with music by Dan Kennedy. <laughs> it's from a thrift store. We can afford 22 bucks. Not the money. It's ridiculous. It helps. My artist dates. Ah, uh, the artist's dates. No fair. You used to do them, too. Yeah, but I can't now. You knew this about me. I have to. I did, I do, but this, this is undignified. You're a lawyer. You've got a reputation. I'm free! How does it help you? I thought you'd outgrow this. <laughs> it gives me ideas for the screenplays. <laughs> How? When I'm out there, not myself, people talk to me. Oh, so many stories. I want you to be yourself. Why can't you just be here with us, with me and the kids? I'm scared. If I don't keep writing, that part of me will shrivel up. Oh, I see. No, that's not what I, Dylan, come on. I, I didn't mean it that way. You didn't? Well, pardon me if I'm feeling a bit shriveled at the moment. <laughs> This is your issue, not mine. Go do your thing. But remember, we've got student loans. You're right, it is my issue, as you so gently put it. Being an artist, I gotta go. Now, before it's too late. 
If you do this, then I'm just stuck here with bills and kids. Now I have to be the responsible one. What if I need to quit my job? Don't make me be the one to kill your dream. I'm not. It kind of seems like it. I want to support you. You have to know that. But for every J.K. Rowling, there are a million who just gave up the chase. I want to be content to be happy. I want to be enough. We've been holding it in all of our lives. We've been turning away, closing our eyes to that place in our heart we put aside. If you're changing your story, you're changing my for the screenplays. How? When I'm out there, not myself, people talk to me. So many stories. I want you to just be yourself. Why can't you be here with us, with me and the kids? I'm scared. If I don't keep writing, that part of me will shrivel up. Oh, I see. <laughs> no, wait. Katie, I, I didn't mean it that way. You didn't? Well, pardon me feel, if I feel a bit shriveled at the moment. After all this time, thought I could play this part. Forget the dream I left. as you so gently put it, being an artist. I gotta go. Daddy! I hey. filled up my big boy bag. Can we go to the bank today, Daddy? Oh, honey, yes, when I get back. When is that? You are going out with the aunties today. Yay! Yeah. <laughs>
So Katie, I've arranged a meeting with the partners today. I want to leave. I have to leave. Just like that? Well, no, not just like that. We've been talking. I just... Remember when I was wearing the fur coat? Well, you were wrong. People did talk to me. They may have thought I was crazy or something, but it helped somehow. I met this woman out walking her dogs. She used to be a stockbroker, and she hated that life. Now she paints. But it's just, we have responsibilities. I know. Listen, just give me a year to finish the screenplay and try to sell it. Remember, we used to talk about trading off like that. But that was 10 years ago. J.K. Rowling, J.K. Rowling, you know her story. Think about it. She used to walk down to that cafe, pushing that stroller every day, and then she'd write. You're not J.K. Rowling. I'm not Ansel Adams. Well, maybe I am. Maybe you are. Think about Patty Smith or, or Robert Maplethorpe. I can't be practical anymore. Even after all these years, I don't feel like a real lawyer. You're a great lawyer, and you do know how to argue. Yeah, you're not so bad yourself. Look, can we just plan for it? No, oh, please. God, I have to do it now, before it's too late. Think it through. If you do it, then I'm just stuck here with kids and bills. Now I have to be the responsible one. What if I want to leave my job? Don't make me be the one to kill your dream. I'm not. It kind of seems like it. Look, I want to support you. You have to know that. But for every J.K. Rowling, there's a million people who just decided to stop chasing. I just want to be content, to be happy. I want to be enough. We've been holding it in all of our lives. We've been turning away, closing our eyes to the place in our hearts we put aside. If you're changing your story, you're changing mine. Cheers.